Hi, my name is Mitch Schlegel. I'm one of the field applications engineers with NEF. And today we're going to be talking about the Vectis welding solution for universal robots. The Vectis system provides a safe, mobile, and easy to program welding solution. The Vectis welding system is commonly used for MIG welding, either in stainless steel or steel of varying thickness. And so it allows you to automate that manual task very accurately and precisely and consistently. The Vectis system as a whole is very mobile and versatile. You can have it do a multitude of different parts with all of the programming done seamlessly in the Universal Robots Polyscope. So the ease of programming of the UR is the same programming that you'll do for the welding. So now let's take a look at what setting up your Universal Robots welder would look like on the pendant. So a couple things to consider when setting up your Vectis system are going to be two configurations. One is going to be of the TCP or the tool center point of the robot. In order to configure this, you'll need to know where the weld wire is, and then you'll, you'll go by the end of the barrel of the weld gun. Those two TCPs are going to form the overarching TCP that is used during the weld. The next configuration is going to be the weld data itself. You can have many different welds saved inside the polyscope to access later. A few things that you're going to set up in the weld data is going to be the weld type, the travel speed, the mode, or whether it's a pulse weld or not, uh, the voltage, as well as the wire feed. Once you're ready to start programming, then you're going to select the weld template node from the UR Caps node selection on the left hand side of the polyscope. Here you're going to teach the starting point of the weld and the ending point of the weld. This is going to use the weld that you previously configured in the installation file. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or would like more information, please reach out to your local NEF representative.